All right, Jonathan Narciss, you're on the Ron Paul Grassroots Volunteer Bus. You just signed your name. Talk to us. You, where were you at tonight? Well, we were a lot of places. We were in Oskaloosa, we were in Fairfield, we were in Atama. So we were all over Southeast Iowa today. But we ended up in Iowa City because we know there are a lot of people who love liberty, who support small government, who uh, basically uh, believe in the free market, and, and that's our message. Right. Awesome. Now, this retention vote, tell us your thoughts on that, please. No, no, no. And I've said no, no, no for a long time. Let's make it perfectly clear. Had these judges got it right, they ought to be voted off because for the last generation, they have overseen disparate justice. And so the fact that there is a mountain of evidence showing that if you have the money, you can buy justice in Iowa, and if you don't, well, you're in trouble ought warrant that these individuals aren't qualified to be on the bench. Beyond that, we have to fix the Missouri plan. What makes a profession that would defend a person who blew up a bus of nuns taking children to adventure land if they if the check clears, what qualifies those attorneys to control half of the judicial nominating process? <laughs> so we have to revise the Missouri plan. Now, make no mistake about it, these judges deserve to be voted off and punished because they clearly violated the Iowa Constitution. Article 3 of the distribution of powers is clear. Only the legislature makes laws. Now, these individuals were perfectly within their power to strike down DOMA, but they didn't just do that. They made new law. And that not only disqualifies them from the bench, but it means that it should have invoked Article 3, Sections 19 and 20 of the Iowa Constitution, which are impeachment. And it shouldn't just be three judges right now being voted off the bench. It should be seven justices facing charges of impeachment and facing removal from office. Now, the Constitution is also clear. That doesn't mean they get prosecuted. It just means they get removed from office and can't serve an additional office. But the Iowa Constitution is very clear, and if these judges didn't like the Constitution, they should be voting yes on a constitutional convention, not usurping its authority.